you will never see that money again. The Portuguese taxpayers may as well stand on the beaches of Portugal and throw the money into the sea because Pedro Nunes Santos, your Minister for Infrastructure, is stealing money away from infrastructure projects so he can put it, shove it down the toilet that is TAP. All TAP will do that money is flush it down the toilet and it will be lost forever. He should keep that money away from TAP, spend it where the Portuguese taxpayer wants to see the money spent, on your hospitals, on your schools, on your teachers and on your nurses. You know, it's a question I had with the, the, the infrastructure minister last week who told me, you know, that TAP connects Portugal to the world. I said, that's not true. TAP connects Portugal to about 70 airports in summer of 2021, whereas Ryanair connects Portugal to 140 airports. When TAP closed the base in Porto, Ryanair increased the size of our base and our jobs in Porto. We're now the largest air, air, airline in Porto. So we're investing in Portugal. Yeah, TAP has no future as an independent airline. It will probably finish up belonging to Iberia or Lufthansa or one of those other larger airlines. Well, no, your governments are trying to distort the market with these subsidies. And the subsidies are not necessary. If TAP doesn't get subsidies, it will reform itself, it will lower its costs, it will come back as a more efficient airline. But for as long as the Portuguese government keeps uh, TAP on the crack cocaine of state aid, like Alitalia, like SAS, it will keep losing money, there will be no reform, and it, you know, taxpayers' money will continue to be wasted. Ryanair is much more important to Portugal than TAP, because Ryanair is investing in Portugal, we're growing routes to Portugal, we're growing jobs in Portugal without any government subsidies. Whereas, you know, TAP was a very good airline for the last 70 years, but it's always been high fare. It's nearly always been loss making. And now I own property in Portugal. I am a taxpayer in Portugal and I resent my taxpayers' money being taken and then wasted on TAP. I would rather it be spent on Portuguese schools, Portuguese hospitals and raising the low incomes of Portuguese teachers and nurses. You know, Ryanair is investing heavily in the Portuguese economy. We have bases in Porto, in Lisbon, in Faro, in Ponta Delgada. We're also talking to Madeira at the moment. We want to uh, add more routes. We want to create more highly paid jobs for our pilots and cabin crew. And it's unfair that as we invest our money in Portugal, that you're asking us to compete against not just TAP, but TAP with the crack cocaine of 3 billion euros of government subsidies. And that's 3 billion euros that taxpayers in Porto don't want wasted on TAP. They don't want it. They'd like to see it spent on hospitals, on schools, on nurses, and on teachers. I asked him when he was going to open Montijo Airport, and he said, that's not a matter for me. I'm some kind of foreigner. I said, I'm not. I'm a big investor in Portugal. I'm a taxpayer in Portugal. And you're the infrastructure minister who's supposed to deliver if you delivered Montijo Airport, Ryanair's committed that we would deliver 5 million passengers within two years, and that would create 5,000 new jobs, far more than the jobs in TAP, 5,000 new jobs in Lisbon. And he wouldn't even answer the question. He just thinks, be quiet, sit in the corner while we waste uh, scarce taxpayers' money on keeping TAP alive because it's his vanity project. Nurses and teachers in Portugal earn less than half what we pay Ryanair pays its cabin crew. Those are problems that the infrastructure minister should be addressing, not stealing from his hospitals and stealing from his schools to waste it down the black hole or the pit, the money pit that is TAP. Having still closed, it doesn't even invest in Porto, for example. They close the base in Porto. You know, all they do in Porto is fly people to Lisbon. We have 55 routes today to Porto. We employ pilots, cabin crew. We have aircraft based full time in Porto. We're investing in Porto, whereas all TAP is doing is stealing money away.